Once there were thousands of young women all over the world who dreamed of being Miss Universe. Then there were 81, then there were 10. In just a moment, the 10 will become five. The computer has taken all the votes of our panel and come up with the names of our five finalists, and I am going to pick up the names of those five finalists right now. May I have them, please? One of these contestants will be the new Miss Universe. Now, the composite score each young woman received in tonight's competition will appear on your television screens as she is introduced. Again, those introductions will be in no particular order. And again, to all ten of you. Here we go with the names of the five finalists. Number one is Miss Philippine. <laughs> Miss Sweden. Next is Miss South Africa. Now, Miss Venezuela. only one to go. Who will it be? It will be Miss Columbia. From these five lovely young women, our judges will pick the new Miss Universe. I'm about to ask each of our five finalists the same question. Now, as I speak with one of the young ladies, the other four will be in our completely soundproof booth so they cannot hear what she has said. And we're happy to have over at the door of the booth to help us, Sharice Haugen, Miss Teen USA 1984, and Sylvia Hitchcock Carson, Miss USA and Miss Universe 1967. Now, Miss Philippines, will you step over to me, and you four please step into the booth. Of course, our judges will continue their evaluation as you answer spontaneously and, of course, unrehearsed. Into the booth and close the door, please. Now, Miss Philippines, the question is, should you be the new Miss Universe? You will become a symbol to young women and girls all over the world. What would you like to tell them? Well, all, all I want to tell them is being Miss Universe is a... Uh, pride and I'd like to spread peace and goodwill to all nations. That's all. Thank you, Miss Philippines. Now, Miss Venezuela. Miss Venezuela, right out here to me. She wants an interpreter. Would you step over to me, please? And would you read this question to her? Si usted fuera la nueva ni Miss Universo, sería un símbolo para todas las mujeres jóvenes y chicas de todas partes del mundo. ¿Qué les gustaría decirle? Bueno, yo quisiera darle mi mensaje como mujer que emprende una nueva labor, que se preparen, que trabajen porque en nuestras manos hoy en día está el futuro. Nosotras. I would like to tell all young women of this world to prepare themselves and to work because in our hands lies the future. Thank you very much. Now, may I have Miss Sweden. Miss Sweden, right out here to me. And Miss Sweden. The question is, should you be the new Miss Universe? You will become a symbol to young women and girls all over the world. What would you like to tell them? Yes, I think I wanted to tell them that have their own personality to always try to stand with both feet on the floor <laughs> and try to well I think that there's the most important to always stand with both feet on the floor and be try to to um, do other people happy and help and help us yes people. thank you Miss Sweden now, Miss Columbia, Miss Columbia, 
Will you help us, please? Miss Columbia would like to have you read her the question. Si usted fuera la nueva Miss Universo, sería un símbolo para todas las mujeres y chicas de todo el mundo. ¿Qué les gustaría decirle? Bueno, yo creo que el trabajo de toda mujer en su hogar, en su familia, es dar un poquito de paz. Tal vez llevaría un símbolo de paz para todo el mundo y trataría de que todo el mundo llevara consigo un poquito de paz para poder irradiar paz. I think it is the job of a woman in her family and in her life to radiate peace, and I think I would like to give a symbol of peace to the entire world. Thank you, Miss Columbia. Miss South Africa. Miss South Africa, should you be the new Miss Universe, you will become a symbol to young women and girls all over the world. What would you like to tell them? I would like to tell them that beauty is not a physical thing. It's it's something that's inside you, and only you can bring that out, and only you can show that to the world. It's, it's a God-given gift, and, and make the be best of it, make the most of it, and use it in a way that your Creator would like you to. Thank, Thank you, you Miss South Africa. Thank you, ladies. We are even closer to finding out who will be the new Miss Universe.